everyone, hey, 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 breaking news plus a Vancouver plus I'm a boy in a good way. I'm just, I'm supposed to do something else and I just saw this statement. This statement from CAF, you know, it was, it was brought out 45 minutes ago. It says CAF media statement. But before I go on and I tell you what this breaking news or which you must, you must have already guessed from the title is that a few was it up to a week ago or last week or something like that nigeria went to libya to go and play match ah and they decided to use us to do a way go anyhow they decided to treat nigeria anyhow -ness. first of all the flight was booked to go to a particular town whether is it in Gaza now or where one of the uh uh libyan cities at the last minute they diverted the flight from there they pushed it to another city for it to go there Meanwhile, this flight was booked to go to this particular place directly, not minding whether the fact that whether the aircraft had enough flight to be able to go there and then join the lives of the, uh, our players and the, and the crew and everything. They got to where they were getting to, which was some hours drive away from the city that they had booked, that they were supposed to go to. They left them there. They slept there. No good, uh, no, uh, no food, no water, no uh, internet. Crazy, crazy. To the extent it got to a stage where our men were, were, were literally scared of their lives and they, they got to a place to say they were no longer playing. They weren't going to play this match. The CAF can award Libya, you know, all the points and everything. They just needed to get back home. And of course, citizens were like, please bring our players back home. It took a lot. It had a lot. But here we are now. And then, you know, uh, it's this, this whole thing towards the African Cup of Nations that is going to be played, I think, next year, 20, uh, in January 2025. Oh, my goodness. We're almost... 2025 is almost literally here. It was just yesterday we were saying, oh, it will soon be New Year 2024. We're now looking at 2025. Hmm. Okay. May God extend our lives to be able to witness it. Anyway, here is a media release from CAF. And it's a media release... Uh, 26th October 2024, which is today, CAF Disciplinary Board Media Statement on Libya versus Nigeria. The CAF Disciplinary Board met to deliberate on the Total Energies CAF Africa Cup of Nation Morocco 2025 qualifier that was scheduled between Libya and Nigeria. The Disciplinary Board decided as follows. One, Libya Football Federation was found to have breached Article 31 of the Total Energies CAF Africa Cup of Nations regulations, as well as Articles 82 and 151 of the CAF Disciplinary Code. <laughs> Two, the match number 87, Libya versus Nigeria of the Total Energies CAF Africa Cup of Nations Qualifiers 2025, scheduled to be played on 15 October 2024 in Benghazi. Yes, so it was actually Benghazi. Is declared lost by forfeit by Libya by a score of 3 0. Woo! Okay, I've never seen something like this. Have you ever seen witness or whatever? So they've given their against Libya 3-0. Three, Three, the Libya Football Federation is ordered to pay a fine of 50,000 US dollars. The fine is to be paid within 60 days of notification of the present decision. Four, all other and further motions or prayers for relief are dismissed. As seen, they cannot even come and say that, oh no, this thing, this particular thing that was done, they are going to petition it and say no. Uh, try hey, calf. Ah, 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 ah. I'm, I'm shook at all. Me and Ono say calf, they, they act like this. So when they do like some sleepy, does they do anyhow? But ju just for a bit of context also is the fact that this particular match that was supposed to be played, if Nigeria had won the match when it was played, Nigeria would already have qualified. Libya had, would not even have any chance. Libya is so far behind. I can't remember how many points they had. They literally are so far behind. With this loss, now they are out of the game. And they needed a win for them to even have a chance 
I think that will be their first uh, three points. I don't even know whether they've picked up any points in the matches, you know, that have been played. And there were a lot of things that they were doing. And they will come out to say that, oh, it was almost like they are trying to say that it was payback for what Nigeria did to them. Meanwhile, Nigeria really didn't do anything to them. First of all, they decided to go to Patakot instead of Uyo, where the match was supposed to be played. There's an, there's an airport in Uyo. You decide to go to Patakot, which is about two, three hours away. And... Who was expecting you to be at Protocol when you were supposed to be Uyo? They said they didn't get some right treatment before they could get bosses and whatever. Yeah, because you're supposed to come to Uyo, not Protocol. You're not playing this match in Protocol. You're supposed to be playing it Uyo. And they came with their blah, blah, this, 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 that. And then for people to come in and literally put the people's life on the line. Because I saw even where the pilot, uh, the, the, the pilot was talking about, you know, the whole, uh, the whole trip and how that the airport i think something he said something about the airport that they were they were asked to go to was not an airport that was um that was equipped for night landing that he had worked in that terrain i think he had used that airport before so he was used to it and that's why he was able to you know safely put bring that uh, uh land the plane and all of that for you to be so mean and so um how do I put so vindictive that you're ready to put the lives of players on, on, on the line for whatever it was that they wanted to achieve? Honestly, for me, I think uh, for, for the first time in a very long time, I'll say uh, that I, I'm really impressed by the decision of the of CAF and how quick they made the decision. And the for me, being impressed is not because that they awarded this, the points to Nigeria or Nigeria uh, got this points or whatever, but that they took a stand. And this is not just to, to Libya, but it's to all the other African uh, nations that participate in this tournament to know that you can't do anyhow, you can't behave anyhow. Some nonsense needs to be stopped and they need to be nipped uh, at the board and I'm, I, I'm i'm really glad about this thing. but hey let's look at some of the statements uh coming from people because there will be quite a lot of it this thing is just breaking it's not even up to an hour that it, that it broke uh, uh and then this person says i think this is a south african remember when it comes to football there is such a uh, I don't even know. It's not banter. It's this hateful whatever that South Africans have with with Nigeria. He say Libya must take this to a higher institution. Nigeria did the same thing to them when they they were they are waiting. We start with Libya during these tough uh, times. Uh, he said, and no, that's that. It's not the same thing. That I you can't come and deliberately do whatever and say oh this. If they felt they had, something had been wrong, they should have cried out to, to calf, not to come and put people's lives in danger. Like I said before, yeah, when you came in, you were supposed to come to a different, and you went to a different, and then now on our own, you are the one sending our boys with their aircraft to a different place when they were within the hour that they were supposed to land at a particularly uh, different place. Another person said, Libya got dropped, Nigeria did the same today. That's the story that Libya was going to put out. Come on, man. This one at ABC, obviously, a Nigeria said, kudos to CAF. CAF must not tolerate underhand tactics by its members' uh, nations. Football must be fair played. Host nations must respect visiting team. We Nigerians must learn to be patriotic at all times uh, to Nigeria. Don't let anyone make you hate your country. Then the EJ said, the disciplinary board of CAF has diligently fulfilled its responsibilities in addressing the breach committed by Libya. Mixing politics with everything is not good practice. Some Nigerians tried to ration rationalize Libya's treatment of the Nigerian team due to their dissatisfaction with the current administration that was unfortunate i don't know uh how many people uh, 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 uh did that you know sometimes people just try to just put this thing all out there but hey it is uh this one said this is not enough their president and his wife need to apologize okay now this is nigeria bringing their usual banter into everyone but i would say hey calf did the right thing but what about you let me know in the comment section thank you bye